today the subject is brain tumor brain tumor is a, a swelling a growth in the brain which is not normal now when the creator has created brain is created in such a way that the capacity of the brain is limited it's made of uh, tissue called brain the blood vessels the fluid called csf and the covering is called a membrane by name jura and over that there is a thick bone covering like a shield that's called the skull now imagine a situation for some reason there is a growth slowly developing or rapidly developing inside the brain which vitiates the total volume ratio what the almighty has created and that manifests outside the manifestations are or symptoms are headache intense headache more so in the morning and disabling in the sleep lack of sleep and in addition to the headache vomitings convulsions what is called epilepsy weakness or numbness on one half of the body decrease in the memory decrease in the vision the individual is not able to sleep individual is not able to hear properly during his phone conversation gait changes and the, totally the individual changes if you talk to the family members they say is not the same and the brain tumors are also changes according to the age group in the children the problems are different in the middle age and the old in the children most of the brain tumors are in the the posterior fossa the brain is divided into two segments and the lower segment is called posterior fossa and the upper segment is called supra tentorial posterior fossa tumors where in the small brain is located called cerebellum the tumors are much more common because of this the child becomes staggerate headache vomitings school performance very poor not playful becomes very very lazy and the same problem if it continues the patient may can become unconscious if you take in the middle age group in addition to the headache and vomitings they observe driving difficulties convulsions vision problems not able to focus on a vision and also the performance in the office is definitely not up to the mark as it used to be and in the old age group the problems are the retired old people so not many people find them very useful for the society sadly and there the problem is they are neglected the neglect in the form till very late age the problem may not be detected but those vigilant attendants if they are there the family they observe that is not the same since the time of retirement for the last one year or so there are a lot of change and is not the same individual whatever it is the symptoms remain the same and the age group the problems vary lot of problems in the young age group which are known as the uh, brain tumors in children or in the small brain and a good number of them are cancerous tumors though the tumors are cancer in the age group the interesting part of the tumors in the younger group is that if treatment is given like surgery as we are going to talk about they do extremely well in the long run in the middle age group the tumors are different and there are the tumors are located either in an area where the vision is uh, a problem and then of course the weakness of the one half of the body and suddenly their performance also may drop down there also a good, uh, some good number of the tumors are malignant tumors but equal number where there are non cancerous tumors in the very old age group large number of tumors are again cancer of tumors now the notion among the public is that tumors means malignant tumor means cancerous i want to make a point very clear that the brain tumor percentage are no higher than the tumors in the abdomen tumors in the chest or leg or anywhere it's only that it is projected like that before a large number of tumors in the brain are non cancerous can be treated very well and they have a cure i use the word a cure because it's possible today with all the facilities at our armamentarium and once you suspect that individual probably is suffering with brain tumor there are certain investigations required the investigation mentioned are a ct scan with brain and here an important point for all the people nowadays the common public are also very much aware of that in a suspected case of brain tumor ct scan a plain scan is not adequate ct scan with contrast wherein an injection is made 
so that the same area is delineated much more definitely, much more effectively. So CT scan of the brain, plane and contrast is mandatory. Once the CT scan is done and the, depending upon the findings, we have to decide whether the said individual requires MRI or not. I want to make it a point very clear again that not all patients of brain tumors require MRI. Only select group of patients like in the brain stem, like in the pituitary or in select areas where the problem is not very clearly visible, then we have to go the subject the patient for MRI. Otherwise, for the working purpose, CT scan, a good CT scan, plain and contrast is adequate. Once the tumor is diagnosed that there is a brain tumor, the treatment is surgery. Surgery will depend upon the location of the tumor, the type of tumor, the age of the patient, now, the surgery of the brain carries some risk, but surgery of the brain tumor, there is no other alternative. Except in the situations of today, now there is a, an alternative treatment that has come. Those brain tumors which are smaller than 2 centimeters in size, sometimes we are treating with non-surgery, there are various modalities have come, but that is the only situation where the brain tumor size is much smaller. So, uh, smaller tumors can be treated without surgery and large, most of the tumors say about 90% or 95% require surgery. The philosophy of the surgeon is at the time of surgery to remove as much tumor as possible and then depending upon the type of tumor, the rest of the treatment has followed. If it is a non-cancerous tumor, the every effort will be made by the surgeon to remove the tumor totally. If there is a malignant tumor, cancerous tumor, the tumor is confirmed on the table, whether it is a malignant tumor, now the facilities are available in the pathology also, and then the patient has to be subjected for radiation. In, if the tumor is removed completely, there is no problem. In case the tumor is left out part of it, one is a radiation, the other is called chemotherapy. Chemotherapy, few limited drugs are available and that completes the treatment. Radiotherapy, if it is given, now the modalities of radiotherapy also has changed. No more the days of scary where the individual used to lose hair and the look itself very very unhappy look, no more so. Now even, I can, it's not an exaggeration if I say that the amount of disfigurement to the individual with today's radiotherapy is the least. So rest assured, treatment with radiation is a very important part of the treatment. The surgery in a cancerous tumor constitutes 75%, 25% is by the radiation treatment. 5% is by the chemotherapy. All the modalities of treatment together will make the patient recovery faster, quicker, safer and better.